We're grateful to be joined today by the Vice President. Thank you very much, Mike, for being here. Members of my Cabinet, devoted public servants, and angel parents, very important people to me and to a lot of other people. I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. We've gone through a lot. As we take action to restore our national sovereignty and defend this nation from criminal cartels, human traffickers, and drug smugglers, crime of all kinds coming through our southern border and other places, but this is the place. This is the place we have the biggest problem by far. And I want to also compliment the incredible people at Border Patrol and ICE and law enforcement for the job they've done. They've apprehended so many thousands and thousands of people that if we had the proper protection, we wouldn't even have to apprehend. They wouldn't be coming in. As President, the protection of the nation is my highest duty. Yesterday, Congress passed a dangerous resolution that, if signed into law, would put countless Americans in danger, very grave danger. The Democrat-sponsored resolution would terminate vital border security operations by revoking the national emergency issued last month. It is definitely a national emergency. Rarely have we had such a national emergency. Therefore, to defend the safety and security of all Americans, I will be signing and issuing a formal veto of this reckless resolution, and that's what it was. And I have to, in particular, thank the Republican strong, wonderful people, the Republican senators that were on our side and on the side of border security and on the side of doing what they have to to keep our nation safe. They uh, were very courageous yesterday, and I appreciate that very much. Congress's vote to deny the crisis on the southern border is a vote against reality. It's against reality. It is a tremendous national emergency. It is a tremendous crisis. Last month, more than 76,000 illegal migrants arrived at our border. We're on track for a million illegal aliens to rush our borders. People hate the word invasion, but that's what it is. It's an invasion of drugs and criminals and people. We have no idea who they are, but we capture them because border security is so good. But they're put in a very bad position, and we're bursting at the seams, literally bursting at the seams. What Border Patrol is able to do is incredible. I also, by the way, want to thank our military, because our military has been very much involved, as you know. And uh, they're putting up walls, in some cases temporary. In some cases, they were supposed to be temporary. They're so good that they're better than the permanent, so we're leaving them. We've really uh, nowhere left to hold all of the people that we're capturing. And we're at a point where we're just going to have to say, with these horrible uh, decisions that we've been handed by people that aren't living in reality, that there's nothing we can do. There's absolutely nothing we can do. We're bursting at the seams. You can only do so much. And the only option, then, is to release them. But we can't do that either, because when you release them, they come into our society. And in many cases, they're stone-cold criminals. And in many cases, and in some cases, you have killers coming in and murderers coming in, and we're not going to allow that to happen. Just not going to allow it to happen. And that's true. I say it today with even more meaning. It was a big step.